The Peacock series, featuring Kevin Hart, Samuel L. Jackson, Terence Howard, and others, narrates the events surrounding a historic boxing match that provided an ideal backdrop for an audacious heist targeting the affluent and renowned. On October 26, 1970, Muhammad Ali referred to the occasion as his Day of Judgment. His principled refusal to serve in the army during the Vietnam War had resulted in a 43-month hiatus from boxing. However, that evening in Atlanta, with his boxing license reinstated, he faced Jerry Quarry, known as the Great White Hope, marking his long-anticipated return to the sport. Prominent figures from the African-American community, including Diana Ross, Sidney Poitier, Hank Aaron, and Coretta Scott King, graced the ringside. Alongside them, a diverse crowd of gangsters, pimps, drug dealers, and enthusiastic boxing fans adorned in extravagant attire. Silk shirts unbuttoned to the waist, four-inch platform shoes, ankle-length mink coats, and stylish mink accessories filled the stands. The historic confrontation was significantly eclipsed by one of the most audacious robberies ever to occur in Atlanta. This theft transpired during an exclusive house party held after the match, where attendees were compelled to undress, surrender their jewelry, cash, and other valuables, and lie packed together in the basement of the residence until the perpetrators made their escape the following morning. Peacock's Fight Night, the million dollar heist, produced by Shay Ogbonna, known for the chai, narrates this extraordinary story through the perspective of party host Gordon Chickenman Williams, portrayed by the exuberant and daring Kevin Hart. Don Cheadle appears as J.D. Hudson, one of the pioneering black detectives in the Atlanta Police Department, who also served on Ali's security team. Samuel L. Jackson plays the role of Atlanta crime lord Frank Moten. Terence Howard takes on the character of Jersey mobster Cadillac Ritchie, and Taraji P. Henson portrays a mistress of Chicken Man. While the series is loosely inspired by the 2020 true crime podcast of the same title, or, as indicated by a caption at the beginning of the first episode, based on some events that truly occurred, it is important to note that like many adaptations, numerous plot elements are dramatized and several new characters are introduced. We wanted to be true and authentic to the time period and the world, says executive producer Will Packer. Girls Trip tells Rolling Stone, and within that world, there's a very, very entertaining high story to be told that takes you in multiple directions. To help you separate truth from fiction, here are some key facts of the real-life story versus how it's presented in the series. Why was Ali's Atlanta fight such a big deal? The fight in October signified Ali's comeback to the boxing arena following a three-year suspension due to his refusal to be drafted. He had been prohibited from competing in any boxing matches within the United States, with former California Governor Ronald Reagan declaring, that draft dodger will never fight in my state period. However, through the efforts of Georgia Senator Leroy Johnson, who adeptly navigated the situation as portrayed by Ron Rico Lee in Fight Night, Atlanta ultimately issued Ali a boxing license. The confrontation took place during a pivotal moment in Atlanta, as the relentless push for civil rights had begun to dismantle racial divisions in the South. The series depicts Detective J.D. Hudson, one of the first black detectives in Atlanta's newly integrated police force, who was assigned the responsibility of safeguarding Ali during this prominent event, providing round-the-clock protection from the cottage where Ali resided outside the city to his journey to the ring. However, the series somewhat minimizes the genuine threats faced. In the dramatization, individuals in a truck displaying a Confederate flag harass Ali's lodging. 
In reality, gunfire was directed at the cottage each night, as reported by Ali's physician, Dr. Ferdi Pacheco. These nightly shootings compelled the residents to gather at the rear of the house, as recounted by Pacheco in the oral history knockout. Muhammad Ali, Atlanta, and the fight nobody wanted by David Davis. They were robbing some very influential and dangerous people, not just the members of the Nation of Islam. Where is Chicken Man today? Throughout the series, Chicken Man engages in a perilous dance with death, having been threatened at gunpoint on two occasions by Frank during the initial episodes. Notably, the New York Times indicated that Chicken Man was murdered shortly after the robbery as retribution for his alleged offenses. However, Detective Hudson, who passed away in 2009, disclosed in an interview featured on the Fight Night podcast that Chicken Man actually survived the heist, distanced himself from organized crime, and ultimately became a pastor at a church in Atlanta before his demise in 2014.